26 political parties, one stage, one common aim and a new name, India. The key meeting of the opposition parties in Bengaluru set the stage for a battle between Team NDA and Team INDIA or India in the run-up to the 2024 polls. Now, the opposition parties announced the new name for their alliance. It's called INDIA, which stands for Indian National Developmental Inclusive Alliance. While the West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee said the Bharatiya Janata Party will be decimated, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal said Prime Minister Narendra Modi has sold the entire country and the battle is to reclaim the nation. Our alliance will be called the all people have agreed to have one name for the alliance. Earlier we worked with UPA, now with all 26 parties a new name is given that is Indian National Developmental Inclusive Alliance that is IND IN. And we realize the fight is not between two political formations. The fight is a fight to defend the idea of India. And that is why we came up with the name Indian National Developmental Inclusive Alliance, which also happens to stand for India. You can look at our history and you will see that nobody has been able to fight the idea of India. So I don't need to go into who is going to win this fight. This is a fight between the idea of India and the idea of the BJP. This is a fight between India and the BJP. It is a fight between India and Mr. Narendra Modi. India, can you challenge India? Bhajpa, can you challenge India? The other people, can you challenge India? Task of Bizarra. Apply Kadia politically. This way, India Jitega, Bhatpa Harega. Bharat Jitega, Bhatpa Harega. India Jitega, or Hamara De Jitega. Arts and Nosal Pehle, this Desh Ke Logone Narendra Modi Jiko Bhari Bahumat Deke Jitayata. In Nosal Ke Andar. उनके पास मौका था वो देश के लिए बहुत कुछ कर सकते थे लेकिन इन 9 सालों में उन्होंने एक भी सेक्टर ऐसा नहीं है जिसमें हम कह सकें कि तरक्की हुई है इन्होंने इकोनॉमी बर्बाद कर दी इन्होंने रेलवे बर्बाद कर दी सारे एयरपोर्ट बेच दिए इन्होंने जहाज बेच दिए आसमान बेच दिया धरती बेच दी पाताल बेच दिया सब कुछ इन्होंने अपने लोगों को बेच दिया कोई कसर नहीं छोड़ी so that was the opposition speaking, but the BJP-led National Democratic Alliance wasn't far behind. 38 parties of the NDA came together in the national capital Delhi today in a mega show of strength. The Prime Minister just in fact addressed the meeting a short while back and he expanded NDA to N for New India, D for Development and A for Aspiration. Among those were who were once in the opposition but uh, were present today at the meeting in Ashoka Hotel were Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde and the Deputy Chief Minister Ajit Pawar. And that's not all. LJP Ramvila's faction Chief Chirag Paswan was also part of this meeting a day after he officially returned to the NDA. Ek ये नई ऊर्जा से भरी हुई त्रिशक्ति है एन से न्यू इंडिया के लिए डी से डेवलप नेशन के लिए ए से एस्पिरेशन ऑफ पीपल एंड रीजन के लिए आज देश का गरीब देश का मध्यम वर्ग देश के युवा महिलाएं 
दलित पीड़ित शोषित वंचित आदिवासी सभी का विश्वास एनडीए पर है हमारे लिए गठबंधन मजबूरी का नहीं बल्कि मजबूती का माध्यम है एनडीए कोलेशन कंपलसन्स का नहीं बल्कि कोलेशन कंट्रीब्यूशंस का प्रतीक so how do these numbers stack up what works for the nda and what goes in favor of the opposition and what's the road ahead for both factions before the 2024 polls before i got i go to my panel of guests tonight i will be joined by senior congress leader manish tiwari let's talk to him first about what transpired today Good evening Mr Tiwari welcome to Mirror now first of all the opposition has announced its new name INDIA how do you plan to strategize and implement this plan ahead in the next few months It's essential to uh, understand ma'am that the raison d'etre of this alliance is to ensure that there is a democratic change in 2024 for change is the only constant in a democracy and change is vital in order to ensure that the life blood of liberalism and pluralism and constitutional values keeps pulsating through the uh, veins of the republic so therefore the 26 opposition parties who have come together in bengaluru essentially reflect the desire the yearning the restlessness in this country in order to try and have an alternative in uh, 2024 we've listed out a series of issues uh concerns ranging from the situation in manipur the transgression across the line of actual control with china which has been continuing for 3 years the growing income inequalities the assault on the freedom of speech and expression the uh misuse of state instrumentalities uh for coercive uh, and political purposes and i can go on chapter and verse each of these require an alternative each of these require a humane solution and therefore the opposition alliance which as you rightly pointed out is called india which uh, the first article of the constitution says that india that is bharat is a union of states actually will endeavor to do that all right you know an 11 member panel is also to be formed uh, you know who will be there in this panel and will most regional parties be represented in it well ma'am those those are matters of detail and obviously uh, that would require consultation among the uh, leaders who are there uh, to finally arrive at that uh, list of names so that obviously is work in progress but i think the more important thing is that uh, the essence of change has today been very very uh, effectively articulated in bengaluru and a message for 2024 has very clearly gone across the length and breadth of the country that the opposition parties most of whom are have governments in various states across india are coming together to offer a national alternative All right you know the prime minister has also hit out at the opposition he has accused you of dynastic politics and corruption what is your response to those remarks by prime minister modi well uh, that is really rich coming from the prime minister may i ask uh, who their latest ally mr ajit pawar is would uh, the prime minister qualify him as a dynast or a non dynast may i ask who mr chirag paswan is would the prime minister characterize him as a dynast or a non dynast in fact i think the biggest tribute to the opposition coming together has been paid by the ruling dispensation 
when they resuscitated a comatose National Democratic Alliance and essentially dragged it out of a sanatorium and dusted it and paraded it in Delhi, uh, trying to establish that we have more numbers in terms of political parties than possibly the alliance in Bangalore has. Uh, for the past nine years, oh, uh, one only heard about one individual and suddenly uh, you have this National Democratic Alliance uh, being trotted out. So nothing really sums up or articulates the paranoia of the government better than the uh, performance or the drama which they put on display in Delhi. Okay, my last question to you, Mr. Tiwari. You know, there have been a lot of names. In fact, uh, not a lot, but in fact, just one name which has been floating around uh, in terms of who will be the prime ministerial candidate from Team INDIA. Uh, would you like to elaborate on that? Who will be the prime ministerial candidate? Well, as I told you, this is work in progress. And uh, as we embark on the road to 2024, most of the questions that you've asked me as to what committees would be there, what would be the common minimum program, who would be the prime ministerial candidate, all this will get resolved. This is a matter of tactics. I think the largest strategic decision which has been taken in Bangalore in terms of uh, of, of uh, this alliance of 26 parties uh, is a humongous step uh, in, in, in presenting an alternative to the 140 crore people of this country, an alternative that they've been yearning for. All right, uh, Mr. Manish Tiwari, thank you very much for joining us uh, this evening on Mirror Now and uh, you know sharing your perspective on Team INDIA. Thank you very much.